see, this is the anime segment. I'm Richard. I'm Rex. I'm Christine. I Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I forgot where I was. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but yeah, today we're going to start the anime segment with a quick, sad thing because I wanted to get this over with. So, April 3rd, for Digimon fans, April 3rd is a really dark day. This is the day where the Japanese singer Koji Wada died. If you do not know him, he is a singer for the song Butterfly, which premiered in 1999 with the Digimon Adventure anime. He also did other songs for the other Digimon shows, and he also did an opening song for, Transform for Transformers. Transform yeah, Transformers Car Robots in the Japanese dub. We are really sad to hear this because we thought his battle with cancer was over. Apparently it wasn't. It was yeah, his, his, he, he postponed his singing career in 2011 because of his cancer, but then he came back for 2014 and 15 to do the songs for Digimon Adventure Try. We're really hoping this is not the last of his songs because there's a couple other songs that he's done that he can honestly redo, they could redo for the next couple of movies we don't know yet. But for now, we're really, so everyone is really sorry. There's been a lot of fan art, a lot, a, lot, a lot of condolences. So if you can, moment of silence real quick. All right, since we don't have enough time, I'm really sorry. All right, let's move on to Rex. All right, so I wanted to cover regular anime general news. Uh, some anime, anime, uh, getting video game adaptations such as uh, Psycho Pass and other are getting like Corpse Party and we're gonna get finals. I get to see it. Uh, Christine, do you have uh, anything else? Okay, on a short note, I'd like to say it was really hard to take that moment of silence where Rihanna's work was playing in the background. I heard it, shut up. Anyways, I'm gonna go with manga recommendations. Um, my manga recommendation is I Know Koto Isho, which English translation is I'm with her. It's about a girl named Kanori who enters high school and she usually doesn't have any friends, so she actually makes a friend, right? And this friend's like, oh, let's go on a walk then, you know, a group date. And they both leave with boyfriends, but her friend's boyfriend is a player. So he constantly cheats on, he constantly cheats on her and she doesn't know about her. She tries to do anything to get them back from other girls. While Kanori is just like, you need to leave him. At some point, the manga progresses and gets really serious as she tries to help her friend but realize that there's nothing she can do. And at some point, her friend even gets raped. And because the guy that she was dating leaves her there with his friend. Sounds like something I might want to actually read. This it sounds really interesting. Really, really good. I'd, I'd kind of read it. It's not, it sounds like it needs a school day's ending. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about school Steve, Steve, what are you doing? Steve, I need Steve, a cameo. Steve, Steve, yeah. Steve, why do you need a cameo? Because Steve, Steve is like our Stan Lee. White Ooh. privilege. You're doing a Simon cameo for your hugs, though. What up? Ivan, I, uh, I kidnapped your family. Go sit down. All right. You can redeem your free hug with the next segment. If Plus, I don't kill him. Steve is like our Stan Lee, though. Okay, but. <laughs> See, this is why we can't have nice things. See ya. Hello, GNC. Welcome back to our TV segment. I am Anthony. And I am Steve. You sure you're Steve, not Tariq or Ivan this time? Or Stefano? Or Stefano? Or, yeah. or Esteban Julio? No, no, no. I, I assimilated to dominant culture. I think Steve. What about Emilio Estevez Estevez? I said I assimilated to dominant culture. All right. So to begin, rumors, let's begin with a rumor. Apparently, the season five villain for Arrow is... A mind-controlled Hal Jordan under the control of the puppeteer. This is just rumors so far, and to be honest, I wouldn't mind seeing a bad Hal Jordan just to get a good Hal Jordan later on. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that at all. It'd be, it'd be a good way to bring Hal Jordan on to Arrow, just because like Green Lantern, Green, Green Arrow, Green, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, and like oh, we have Hal Jordan. It, you know, if they don't eventually have him kill Parallax, if they do this, then it's a wasted opportunity. It, it will be. And um, if they don't end it with Blackest Night, I'm going to be sad. They have all the major characters they need for Blackest Night. Except for, you know, Batman. But well, Arrow is Batman. <laughs> well, he has to get blasted by Darkseid's Omega Beam. There's not going to be Darkseid. We both know this. It could be. They can't afford Omega Beams. They can't afford Omega Beams. That's what the movie universe is for. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Uh, the anime Animaniacs are coming back. Uh, they're going to be on tour. I don't know what that means. I just read they're going to be on tour. So I guess they're coming back to Cartoon Network. Um, they're on Netflix right now. They're on Netflix right now. So, yeah. Um, 
that's coming back. That's awesome. Yeah, but unfortunately, we have to end on a bit of a sour note. Arthur Anderson. The main, the name may not mean anything to you, but the name Eustace Bag probably does. If anyone has ever watched Courage the Cowardly Dog, they know exactly who Eustace is. Unfortunately, the voice actor Arthur Anderson has passed away. Oh, that hit me right in the childhood. Oh, the childhood. Maybe have a moment in silence. Moment of silence. No. That, that's not silence. Moment of silence starting now. Okay. <clears throat> um, that's just sad. So yeah. basically, uh, things to look forward to on TV. Uh, Supergirl season finale is looking really badass. Uh, it's maybe, it, well, yeah, it's going on to tell you guys now it's got Brainiac doing some badass shit in it. Unfortunately, uh, he's not being played by James Marsters this time. James Marsters, a.k.a. Spike, a.k.a. Brainiac, a.k.a. AKA God. Piccolo. We don't talk about Piccolo. Eventually, you know, Arrow and Flash will be, you know, coming to us on a weekly basis. <laughs> not anytime soon. We gotta wait till spring break for that. Um, Legends tomorrow is it? Is, is that playing this week? I yeah. Know, yeah, Legends tomorrow. It's good. Legends tomorrow is getting good. Yeah. <sighs> Legends um, tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed the Future Arrow episode. So yeah, that's basically it's all for going on TV. TV been kind of quiet. It's like like it's, it's just dwindling time. I Zombie had its two part season finale uh, season finale yesterday. Yeah, but if you're if you unless your name is Matt, you don't really care. Right? I care. Do you? Yeah. Do you really? I was I mad. Do. I was actually mad because I wanted to record Arrow, but then I was like, oh, I Zombie the eight, like, and I Zombie was taking a part of like you know, pleasure time spot. Damn, we got played by I Zombie. Yeah. So um, that's all for TV. Uh, peace out, Girl Scouts. Alright.